like, oh, it's not that big of a difference, is it? I mean, it's like, that's like only like an inch difference and this is like two inches different, right? But, but that's because the scale is different. You have to know what the scale means, you know, uh, on, on the left-hand side. So that's another kind of thing that could happen. If I, if I was do another one, if I insert another one and make another histogram, and we'll like we'll pull this one down and pulling it down okay and so now oh i didn't mean to undo undo so now let's get rid of the title on this one and let's click on this side again and let's go over here and say uh, if we if we make the minimum, let's say we start the minimum at like at like ten, you know. So now, right? So now it started at ten. So now these you know these these ones down here are kind of been wiped out. That would be somewhat of an unusual. That looks manipulative, right? To do that looks a little bit funny unless they were really tall <laughs> uh, <laughs> type of ones, right? So then. But again, you can see how that, of course, would would give a different feel than than this one, right? You're like, ah, you know, there. So now let's try something where they where they we were we remove the outliers. So let's add another one. Let's select the data again. Select the data, uh, and then I'm going to scroll down before I insert. So hopefully it'll insert kind of down here, and then I'm going to go to insert. Well, I still got the data selected, but I'm scrolled down histogram insert and boom all right so now let's say let's say that i go to this bucket size but i want to get rid of these these outliers right that's another thing that might be useful to do but it also might distort the data a bit right because the outliers you know could skew the data we'll talk more about it kind of later but it could but it also is somewhat misrepresenting the data to some degree as well because they're outliers that's not the norm so let's let's go into the the information on on the right for this for this bracket and i'm going to leave well we could go from from automatic to like let's say we let's say we wanted it at like 2000 as the separation so there's that's a pretty decent separation so you're like all right that looks good but maybe these these are kind of messing it up on the outside and kind of making my graph look a little messy so we could say well uh what if i well not here what if i go to my uh overflow bin and i say that every so it's currently on auto if i make everything that's over like like i'm gonna bring it in here like seventy seven thousand uh seventy seven thousand then then it kind of packs it together right so now you've got this all the stuff that was way on the side is kind of packed in it's kind of nice to on one side because now i've got a now i don't have this data with all these empty buckets in it but at the same time it's a little bit misrepresentative because you're like well how outside were those outliers right and then if i click on this one the other side this one's an outlier on this end let's bring it into like i don't know like uh 63,000, right so we'll say this one 63,000. So so now you've got everything over 63,000. So you notice that kind of cleans up the data because you're like, yeah, those are outliers and I just packed them in so that you can actually read the bucket size, which makes sense, but it also distorts a little bit the look and feel of the outliers. So you can see how even when you're trying to be as honest as possible, when you're choosing the bucket size, it can be difficult. And when you're dealing with when you're dealing with people who you know have an agenda, meaning they're trying to argue for a particular case, you know that going into it, then you're going to have to be a little bit skeptical as to how they're going to present the data, right? So then you got to be like, well, <laughs> you know, what? Why did they choose to present the data in this way? Are they really presenting the data accurately? Are they giving you multiple pictures of the data? Are they or, or are they trying to kind of distort the data by possibly manipulating things such as the bucket size, the outliers, and uh, the height uh, of the graph by manipulating the y-axis? 
So these are, and this is why, again, what you really would like to do is say, I would like to get a look at the actual data and, and do some of this testing on my own so I can make my own, you know, representations of the data and get an accurate idea of what is what is being said here by it.